I get this question a lot. So how do you get that sword from the Assassin's Creed Odyssey E3 2018 demo where we see Cassandra like use it first a mercenary to demonstrate the new combat system but then later we go into the inventory menu and see the sword with the snake handle there as well. Well it's actually pretty interesting. We got some info on that so let's touch on that in this video. Plus there's more to discuss like people are getting free Helix store items and way more. Let's get into it. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated. And let's go. I, by the way, picked a winner for the Abstergo gear pack giveaway. Congrats to Brian for winning. I sent you an email, so please send me your info and then I will send you a code so you can buy Helix credits to get the pack. And if you didn't win, don't worry, I will do another giveaway for other upcoming packs. So keep an eye out for that. When we know the pack, I will immediately start my giveaway. So yes, what is going on with this sword with the snake handle that they used again in the E3 demo? Cassandra even holds it on the cover of the game. If you buy the game physically, then you got like Alexios on one side and Cassandra as the reversible cover. And Alexios has the Spear of Leonidas and a regular spear, while Cassandra has the sort of snake copis weapon in her hands. And also this promotional picture that shows the progression of your character. You see Alexios with this weapon in his hand as well. It gets even even crazier because Ubisoft sponsored a video where they forged the Spear of Leonidas like in real life but they also recreated this sword that is again not in the game at the moment. So could of course be that they decided to remove the weapon from the game that something did not work out. But yeah, why would a weapon not make its way into the game especially one that you have been promoting a lot? It's really weird, especially because the files for this weapon are found on the PC. Shout out as always to Bada Boom for discovering this and he shared this image of the weapon including the stats with assassin damage and plus 30% adrenaline per crit and also a sort of bugged legendary assassin perk that around that time, so that was December 13th, wasn't known. Now fast forward to recently when we discussed the Abstergo gear pack that was leaked some people actually noticed that that weapon was in the inventory of the leaked Abstergo shots. Well, it turns out that Kuan Nirat, who shared these shots with me, did this on purpose to see if people would notice. Well, people did, and that means that he actually got the weapon, thanks again to the files on the PC. And he also shared a screenshot of the stats of this weapon, and there we do see a legendary perk, namely the plus 20% damage with the critical assassinate ability. So that is not a really weird perk it's pretty regular actually something you would expect is already like in the game but no we do have the mastery level though and normally those are based on weapon perks or set bonuses that also appear on weapons or gear so that is interesting right that on december 13th this weapon did not have a legendary perk or at least it was bugged but now a few months later it has this legendary perk that increases your critical assassinate so it's super weird the weapon is available kuan nirat is able to use it it has perks, it has a mastery level linked to that perk, yet as far as we know there's no way to find it. Of course if you found it let me know in the comments down below, but I think there is really no way to get it. It's kind of the same story as the awesome sort of upgraded Spartan War Hero set with the cape that we saw in the trailer that they showed multiple times and the freaking statue that you can buy has this armor as well with the cape yet we cannot wear it in the game. So I wanted to ask Bruno about this when I had the chance, but already had a ton of questions and actually forgot to write it down. Like I had multiple docs with questions, it was somewhere in there, but not in the one that I used for the interview. So kind of sucks, so I guess we have to do it like the more public way. I will put a link to this tweet that I will send out to Assassin's Creed asking about this sword, if we will ever get it, what is going on. Maybe if you like it, share it, it gets more attention and hopefully they will respond back because it's so weird that it is essentially in the game but we just cannot unlock it. And kind of the same, and this also interesting, can be said for the Sun Hat item. Or we actually should now say Talia's overprotective Sun Hat. We of course discussed the sunburn resistance that showed up in some people's engraving window. Like I don't see it, it's not there for everyone. But the footage you see here is from my editor Joyce who helps me out with at least one video per week. She did have it, as you see right here, and many people reached out as well. So... 
this might be linked to that sun hat that again is now called Talia's overprotective sun hat. But there seems to be more going on with this because since they changed the name of this sun hat, you can actually not get it anymore at the blacksmith. At least that seems to be the case. So what happened was with update 1.12, they suddenly added the item to the blacksmith inventory. So you had to go to different blacksmiths and then get lucky that it suddenly was there so you could buy it and then unlock it as a visual customization option. Well, it seems like with update 1.14, nobody can find it anymore. I got reached out by Shadow who said that he searched everywhere and could not find this item. I also asked people on Twitter and on Reddit and nobody found the hat at the blacksmith after update 1.14 that again changed the name of this item. We got Andrew Smith in the comments of my recent video that talked about the sunburn resistance saying that Talea is the goddess who presided over comedy and idyllic poetry so maybe this with the sunburn resistance is just an April Fool's joke. And with April 1st coming up this of course could totally be the case. Also looking at the description of this sun hat that was by the way also changed with update 1.14. Saying that this hat is known to be so protective against the sun that its wearer is nearly immune to sunburn. Hence the 99% sunburn resistance you would think, right? So I had the crazy roads theory saying that maybe we could go there to battle the sun god Helios. But many of you pointed out that this was like far beyond the time period of Odyssey. I mean you got the staff of Hermes of course. But yeah, I agree. It's pretty unlikely that they add that new island to the game. No, with the Fate of Atlantis DLC we will likely use the gateway to the lost city. Like with the different portals there to get to the new exciting world as Bruno liked to call it. The sunburn and the sun hats could still be connected to the DLC though. And by the way, thanks to Alan for letting me use his Happy Farmer build gameplay. Also with the sun hat, I thought it made sense for this video. But anyway, back to Talea, because if we look at the Wikipedia page of this goddess, we find some interesting info, because maybe it has something to do with the nine muses, inspirational goddesses of literature, science and arts. So maybe the Atlantis DLC has something to do with all of them, that those will be targets that we have to kill. Thalea is also the daughter of Zeus, so maybe it's all linked to that. Of course, your take is welcome in the comments down below, but I thought the April Fool's joke was also pretty interesting. Maybe we see something on April 1st. It could be connected to a future patch that will likely be live in early to mid-April. And we already know a little bit of info about that update, like what it's going to fix. Because right now there's a glitch in the New Game Plus mode that removes items that you are wearing at that moment if you loot the exact legendary item. Well, Ubisoft now notes that they will address that in a future update, so that is good to know. Elemental Resistance is not working properly right now, resulting in mercenaries, for example, doing way more damage than before the update. Also something that will be addressed and many people including me had unused ability points disappear right when update 1.14 was live. So this will also be addressed in an upcoming update, likely the April 1. So it might be that you can suddenly see, hey, I got more ability points than I had before the update. So Ubisoft has this known issue page on their forms and there's now also a title saying no plans to address in the future. So things like the FPS drops, textures from the horse that you sometimes like see it load in and then change to the horse you selected. That is something that Ubisoft will not address. That will always be in the game. But what is really weird, and I got this a lot as well, is that people are getting free items from the Abstergo gear pack. V on Twitter reached out to me saying that he got the chest from this set. But this message popped up when he started up the game, but he did not buy the chest with Helix credits or opened an Olympian gift. Also Mia Manoon in the comments under my recent weekly reset livestream noted that he got the new very scary Octopus Lieutenant upon starting up the game. So a lot of people are getting lucky I guess, I got way more people sending me that they got free Abstergo gear pack items. I'm still waiting here for the freaking Hades Lieutenant of course, but if you saw my recent videos then you know that I got three legendaries in a row from these Olympian gifts. And I'm not the only one, like Gerald on Twitter also got three legendary items from the Helix store after each other. So let's see if that's still the case, if I can get another legendary drop in this fourth roll. Subscribe of course for everything that's good Odyssey, where we know more about the sword or the sun hat or Anything else, I will let you know here. Like the video to support the channel. And now let's get to Sargon to see if we can finally get the freaking Hades Lieutenant. Really a pro tip, by the way, is to park your ship near the Eco store so you are way faster at Sargon and the message board. Normally I like fast travel, but that actually takes way longer. So you can better put your ship there and 
if you have no plans to go uh, do some naval stuff, then you can easily get to Sargon. See the awesome item he's selling. But no, we of course want the freaking Hades Lieutenant. So let's see what we can get in this gift. Come on, come on. Yeah. I mean, three legendaries after each other was already kind of crazy. So uh, I did not expect... Uh, uh, like another legendary to be fair I forgot this the last time someone pointed it out thanks for that I will not forget it anymore yes I'm not shooting with the Hades bow so no burning body he will still swim though subscribe for way more Sasuke Odyssey videos I made a video on Sasuke 3 Remastered recently you can check that out by clicking on the screen or my review of the Abstergo gear pack that is actually pretty cool and for now like the video to support the channel and I will speak to you next time goodbye